early detection is key to saving lives. So let's also add in healthy habits. For today's Cancer Watch, our Andy Manis is at the West Cancer Center with Dr. Jason Porter. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in men and women here in the United States. That's why this afternoon, we're here with Dr. Jason Porter here at West Cancer Center and Research Institute. Dr. Porter is a medical oncologist that specializes in the treatment and research of lung cancer. And he's here today to share some updates about this disease and some details about a new screening program here at West. Dr. Porter, I wanna thank you for having us out this afternoon. Thank you for having me. So I want to start by just asking about lung cancer in general. What is it, what causes it, and what are some of the symptoms? So lung cancer is mostly caused by smoking. So about 80% of lung cancer is caused by smoking. There are other causes for lung cancer besides smoking, like radon gas, which is an inert gas that radiates from the surface of the earth. There are some genetic mutations that can also cause the development of lung cancer too. Well, we did mention a new screening program here at West Cancer Center. If I get this right, you guys are able to look at the unique genetic makeup in relation to their diagnosis. So exactly how does that work for a patient? So for people who are diagnosed with advanced lung cancer and now even in early stage lung cancer, we look at the genetics associated with the cancer. It's not really the patient's genetics, it's the genetics of the tumor most times. So we get a biopsy sample and we send that off for special genomic testing where we look at the mutations and the different proteins that are being expressed in the cancer to decide if there is a treatment that's specific for that genomic change. Well, you mentioned treatment. We know that treatment has changed vastly over the years when it comes to cancer. Let's say someone is diagnosed with lung cancer. What sort of treatment options are available now for patients? So for lung cancer treatments, I look at it in kind of three different areas. So it's early stage disease. So these are patients who have just a localized lung cancer. So maybe here in the right upper lobe of the lung, you have a two centimeter tumor, a small tumor, that can either be surgically resected or if the patient's not somebody who can have surgery or who wants to have surgery, we can do targeted radiation therapy to the tumor or we can do something called an ablation where we pretty much put a probe into the tumor and cook it. When the disease is more advanced, like the tumor's larger or lymph nodes are involved, we will use chemotherapy with or without radiation, and then add to that an immune checkpoint inhibitor. So what's that? The immune system is supposed to be killing cancer all the time. But I use the analogy of the men in black with my patients. So there's an alien that, that comes to live next door to you. He drops by, gives you a pan of cookies and leaves. And when he's walking away, you see the green tail. But you just say, you know what? He brought me these cookies. I'm going to let him stay. Well, just like that, the cancer moves in or is grown in the body and your immune system should attack it, but there's a protein called PD-L1 that's being expressed by the tumor and it basically says to the immune system cells, hey, we're just hanging out, don't kill us, let us hang out, we'll be over here next door, we won't bother you, until they replicate and grow up and make a lot of little alien babies that start to cause problems. Then you want to call them in and black hole is too late. So the immune system now can see the tumor when we give this immune therapy and then the immune system knows to call the men in black or to come in and actually fight against the cancer. So now in a in more advanced disease, we will use an immune therapy plus the chemo and radiation that we used to use. So this is a pretty, you know, relatively new approach to cancer. And then for more advanced disease, those immune checkpoint inhibitors are pretty much the standard of care in lung cancer now. Unless that patient has one of those genetic mutations we just talked about, in which case we use a therapy that we call a targeted therapy that specifically targets that genetic mutation. Well, it's great that there are so many new options and advanced options for patients to seek out whenever it comes to treating cancer. And that's the great thing about West Cancer Center is you guys are a multidisciplinary cancer center. So you guys don't just treat cancer, you guys also try to combat it before it ever even occurs. So let's talk about what that looks like for lung patients here at West. So we know that lung cancer, once it's advanced, is 
uniformly fatal for most patients. Um, what we are doing and, and what you referenced earlier is we're starting a new lung cancer screening program here so that we can specifically look for early stage disease. With our newer therapies, we get about a 10 to 15 percent um, of those patients that can live for an extended period of time when disease is advanced. But the best way to treat lung cancer is to find it early and take it out. And in doing so, a screening program that we're offering now will allow patients to come if they have a 30 pack year smoking history. That screening looks like a low dose CT scan. So you come in, you lay on the table, there's no IV contrast or any of those things. It's just a quick scan with a very low dose of radiation that's equivalent to about a chest X-ray. And then the radiologist can look at this, the lungs on that scan and decide if any of those findings are concerning for either an early cancer or a precancerous condition. And then we can shuttle that patient or help that patient get to the right um, kind of next line of treatment. So if it's a nodule that looks like it's concerning for cancer, we can get you to a biopsy and we can get an early cancer out. If it looks like more advanced disease, unfortunately, some people will have advanced lung cancer with no symptoms at all. Those symptoms can be cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, even just fatigue or unintentional weight loss um, can be symptoms of an early lung cancer or more advanced disease. But if it's early, we can get you on to a surgical or radiation um, therapy that can be cured. And we know that that early detection is very, very important. So, well, we want to thank you guys for all of the awesome work that you continue to do here at West Cancer Center. Uh, if we have patients that are interested in more information or uh, want to schedule an appointment, what do they need to do? They need to either call 901-683-0055. For West Cancer Lung Screening Program, you should call 901-609-3556. And patients are able to call that line and self-refer if they want to come in for lung cancer screening. Well, they can go to westcancercenter.com. Well, Dr. Porter, thank you so much for having us out today. Right. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you. informative. We love West Cancer Center keeping us in the know with such crucial details to understanding just the different cancers. Now after the break we're going to add meaning to life this season with ways to give back.